Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the second session of our third level. I am happy to um, have you for today's session. I believe um, you are busy in your own uh, work right now. Um, as I always say, uh, for those who are currently at work and sparing some of your time, um, even though that you are working, I'm so proud of you guys. Um, also for uh, Paddy, who is currently in vacation right now, but he is still also allocating a little bit of his time of his vacation for this session. So um, I'm proud of you guys. Let's uh, proceed with our topic for today, which is material handling. That is in the context of logistics and supply chain management. Here are some topics that we will cover at the same time. These are the objectives of today's session. Factors affecting material handling equipment, objectives of material handling, principles of material handling, equipment used for material handling. Material handling concept. Material handling means providing the right amount of right material in the right condition, at the right place, at the right time. Material handling involves movement, protection, storage, and control of materials. From the past, we have always tackled, uh, we tackled um, the seven R's of logistics and supply chain. When it comes to material handling, that is when these um, principles are being applied. Movement, the movement of the package, materials, raw materials, protection. We have to protect the materials because the client is expecting what the uh, client uh, gets. What she, he, or ordered, that's what they expected. Storage and control of materials. There was this time, um, I think during the past week, I was searching my some movies on Google. I mean, sorry, Netflix. And I stumbled upon this movie called um, The Intern. Baka napanood nyo na yun, The Intern ni Anne Hathaway. And uh, was that Tom Hanks? Sino ba yun yung kasama niya? Robert De Niro. Uh, hindi yung si Tom Hanks, kalimutan. Yes. It's a 2015 uh, film. And it is with Anne Hathaway. And yeah, that's Robert De Niro. So on business ni Anne Hathaway, Anne Hathaway's business, I, um, it's a clothing brand. So they, they were, um, for a startup business, they have gotten their return of investment in just nine months. Ideally, ROI is, um, is being achieved after three to five years. But that's how fast they got um, they got in their um, ROI in just nine months. And then um, business side um, reasons uh, she were, they were asked to find a CEO instead of her being the owner. So they are finding someone who has more experience. So that's the that's actually one of the goal of the uh, movies. Part of that movie is when she ordered um, one clothing brand. So it's a like ladies clothing brand. Parang she in. It's like she in. She ordered for herself. And then she wanted to check if the packaging is what she expected. So she was at home. She ordered a package for herself. She opened the box. The, the materials is not, uh, she was not satisfied. So her goal is upon opening the box, there is already that kind of feeling to the receiver of the package that um, this is a gift for myself or this is a gift for someone that I, I wanted to, I want a package to be received. 
So she, in, and so she was not satisfied with that packaging. So what she did, she went to the warehouse and uh, she herself taught the people who does the packaging how to package it. Because it's important for your client to have that good impression. Imagine if you ask for a package and then it has a dent. Diba? May yupi. It has a dent. Then you would assume that the, the items inside is not in good condition. In Amazon, there could be a lot of uh, this complaints. Baka may mga ganun na. Um, the box is... Uh, it has a dent or it was damaged. So they would return the, uh, the package. Magkakaroon ng reverse logistics. So what I'm saying, it's important that we take care of the package that we will send. Material handling system decides the speed of movement of goods. Service and information within organization and between the seller and customer. It determines the company's response level to internal and external customers' requirements. Every time that I would go for, for like, I would buy water, I would always remember Alain Waters, Paddy's company, um, because there's a lot of brands of water here in the UAE. So um, you personally, Paddy, because you handle the you handle the the I mean the materials or the products of your company. What are your requirements? This is from your point of view in your company. What we're asked for you to do. For the water, I mean, the water that you move in and out your warehouse, how do you handle those um, materials or those products? Do you no, allow the, this? Do you allow the, the water to be outside under the heat? Do you allow the water to, um, yeah, I mean, the containers? Tell me, how do you handle the materials in your, um, in your company? Uh, first, uh, first of all, all materials, they have to be in their designated areas. Water has to be in the warehouse, not supposed to be under sunshine, because that's one of the barrier policies also. Water is not allowed outside. Any item is not allowed outside. Any right. table item. Mm -hmm. So, what, what else? Tell us, yes, give us the background. How do you take care of your materials? Because this is this is what we're um this is what we're talking about handling uh with care, diba? When you are asked to handle something, um, that is we make sure that it is with care. You would see that in the back boxes, handle with care, right? Uh, tell tell us how do you handle um with care coming from your point of view yeah the, uh, the company has different materials has raw materials has waste has uh, already finished materials that's already packed water has also returned items so they are different items at the company so there we are return items. items what could be the reason for the return items Return items, there are many reasons like uh, expired, they are expired, they are damaged, they mm -hmm. are they have poor quality. So some some customers they return them to the company. There are many reasons. Where is the expiration for the, the, the water but uh, how here on top? So it water was produced born. uh March one year. Almost yeah, one, year. one year, March, uh, April, May, June, July, August. Yes, almost one year. That's the expiration of the water. Because of course, this is plastic. It, yeah. um, 
it disintegrates so it might mix with the water. Correct. So that's how they handle with care. What about you, Mitch? How, how people handle your heart? Is it with care? <laughs> Absolutely loving care. <laughs> with DLC. <laughs> Tell us, how, how do you make sure that your packages I, um, uh, that are being handled with care? Then sa Amazon. Um, currently, it is done by FC, so they're just putting a bubble wrap and yes. a cartoon inside. And I'm an Amazon customer as well, so I would know if the packaging is really I mean, covered or is it handled correctly by the team. Mm. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> you have to take care. Do you have someone that checks that? Do you have like a department that checks that before yeah. before it dispatches? Yes, sir. It is done by FC. FC. FC means stands for. Uh, fulfillment center. I'm sorry. Ano tawag fulfillment sa FC? Center. Mm, okay. Fulfillment center. Fulfillment, yes. The fulfillment Kila center. Yeah. Kila yeah, to make sure that the materials are handled with care. Yes, if I ordered like a mug and then it is <laughs> broken, how am I supposed to use it, right? Because this one is uh, breakable. So in the boxes, you would see if it's fragile. So that make... Uh, so that seems um, that would give the people outside that would see that box that that item inside is fragile. Uh, what are those um, things that you would also see outside the box? This way, uh, like this way up. Know. Yes. So to make sure that it's not upside down, um, you would see those, and it's easy to understand. Even you don't are, are even you are not uh, within the ideas or um, in the industry of logistics, you would easily understand what it means. Okay. I remember I would see those boxes um, when uh, it was very memorable when I was a kid, my, when my father uh, bought us a karaoke set, a washing machine and a fridge. Kasi lalaki ng boxes na eh. There are big boxes and we play with it. We were planning to use it as like bahay bahayan to like build a house out of boxes for kids because they're really big. So there would um, there would be like a styro and then um, bubble wrap. Uh, what else? Just, just you know, to, to fully protect the appliances inside. We would pop those um, bubble wrap it's really you, you have to like press it and then it bursts. It's it's um, a cute thing to do. Also, the styro we would um, we would rub it against the we would rub it against the wall, and then my mom would be very mad because it's really difficult to clean because when you like sweep it, it flies. So those are the things to use to make sure that the items are taken care of inside the box that are in good condition. Material handling cycle starts from receipt of material <coughs> upon arrival or upon your uh, receipt, followed by storage of materials. <coughs> you have to store it. Um, if your items are coming from China, you will receive it. Once you receive it, you handle it with care. When you store it, will you handle it with care? Materials followed by moving to production, <coughs> moving to production, how it is being packed, followed by moving of finished goods to the warehouse, and then it reaches the final customers. Oh, by the way, um, we were strolling here somewhere in Mina in Abu Dhabi, and it's part of the like the city in Ham in part of this uh, Hamdan area of Abu Dhabi. I was surprised that there are warehouses here. 
may warehouses pala somewhere that near because unlike in Dubai we have Jabal Ali uh well where you will find most of the warehouses here um i didn't we didn't know that it was very near from from our place actually it's just probably around uh 12 dirhams taxi so it i i was surprised to see that like grand store you know grand store right here um in uh abu dhabi i found their warehouse so the items that are coming from wherever the source is they would drop it there in the warehouse also what are the, the because there are um, like warehouse that are um located there and th this friend of mine told us that you people would also rent those warehouses to park there expensive cars cars that you won't find here in the uae um yeah and those kind of stuff material handling is an important and specialized fu function of in this industrial activity even though this activity does not add to the value of product it is essential from the point of space and time utility when and where it is required it says there that material handling does not really added value to the product but imagine if it was not handled with care and it was damaged then there is no value anymore of the product so make sure um, that the product i mean the material handling is properly done how are we going to um, put this in the concept of construction, uh, Rusty. Material handling. The materials that you receive in your warehouse. Um, pwede nyo bang ibalibag-balibag yung mga materials nyo dyan? Or may, sa tingin nyo, may, do you, ha you have materials that uh, can probably withstand the heat that you can just put them outside under the sun? Uh, yes, sir. Actually, it's a good question. Um, see, uh, in, the con in the construction industry trail, uh, there is a different category of materials. Correct. There are, uh, there are uh, lots of, I mean, some of the materials are really designed to, to store outside. Yes. Kumbaga, naka-design kasi sila na doon sila sa labas. Yes. Like uh like some uh gypsum board, huge materials like cement board, yung mga ginagamit ng mga cement board sir. Correct. So Tapos kahit nasa labas sila. Will, uh, yes, uh, it will be fine, no? It'll be fine sir, it'll be fine because they are really designed like what I said they are designed to, to store outside. Mm -mm. Opo, so ganun kahit uh, even rain or shine, okay lang sa kanila. But, of course, uh, lots of materials must be inside and then we also need to, we need to take care of them also. Like, during the unloading, we need to, to handle it with care also. Because if there are some damage, so, of course, we need to return, return it back to the supplier and then supplier will not accept it. Mm -hmm. Yes, I agree. That's true. Mm -hmm. We will not purchase anything that is damaged. Like, like for example, the sanitary <laughs> items are like yung mga, uh, mga, yung mga toilet bowl, mga urinal, yung mga wash basin. So when they get damaged, imagine uh, the cost of the like urinal, uh, urinal uh, partition, something like that, is cost like 1,000 or 2,000 dirhams. They are ceramic cell. When they get damaged uh, during the during the unloading, then uh, supplier will not uh, replace it. Mm. Um, how this one? Uh, the because the materials that you what about the materials that you have to store um, indoor or <laughs> the one has to be like protected. How mm -hmm. would you handle them? Because even uh, it is construction materials. Mm -hmm. the, the way the well we handle them, sir, is uh, of course we uh, 
like in the right position as well. We need to put them in the like in the pallet and in the right position also. Even mm -hmm. though like a huge materials, but still we need to put them in a proper place. But it, it's not like in Amazon. They are in a really rocking system, which is really very organized in the construction <laughs> industry. So, so parang kahit, basta, kahit basta basta hindi masira siya, kahit saan basta lang. hindi masira <laughs> basta kahit saan lang siya, basta, uh, but at least they are a spare category like the category of the uh, electrical items only electrical items the category of the the plum, plumbing items only plumbing items so that it's easy to find where are those materials mm. I agree. Pero hindi siya ganun ka systematic katulad sa Amazon na talagang makikita mo na ano, ganun siya kalinis eh kasi sa construction to eh. <laughs> Maalikabok. True, I would say uh, you are at the edge of the nasa Ajman kayo eh. Uh, where uh, most of the Ajman, right? Ajman po, oh, po Ajman tapos the talaga area. Tsaka hindi mo kasi mamaintain kasi dito sir yung kinatawag na 6S nga. So you cannot maintain the 6S because yes. in the construction you cannot apply that. Uh, kailangan mo siyang linisin, walang alikabok o ano. So, Sayri, area, Satan, uh, tell me more. Uh, the 6S of... Um, what are those 6S? Yes. Sustain, may mga ganun pa sir. Yes. Well, let me just Google that. Series. It's Japanese word, eh, diba? Yes, Paul. Oh, shine. Uh, wait, let me uh, share that. Ayun. What are the six S's we have? Sort, Series. set, stabilize, sweep, standardize. Ito yung Japanese. Seiri, Seitan, Seiso, Seiketsu. <laughs> Those are the Japanese. Seitsuke and Seiti. The Seiti <laughs> is the last they include. Actually, it's 5S. Uh -oh. They just include the... They add another one uh, one more S for the Seiti. Yes, yes, yes. This is nice, no? That, no when I was doing, when I was in construction, when I was doing the... Uh, the bill of quantities BOQ even for the uh for the bidding yung mga paperwork done i would see this part kapag nagbibid kasi kami kapag gumagawa kami ng mga ganung um documents copy paste na lang ini so i get to do that <laughs> so i would change the name like i would have uh 12 books at, or 12 um 12 chapters in total, ay mga ano, per mga books, per ano, uh, per categories na ganyan. Papalta ko na lang, I would just change the title, I would just change the project, the longevity of the project. So I would change that in sa, sa word lang naman yun. So I get sa, sa Amazon, sa Amazon talaga yung ina-apply itong 6F na to, hindi pwedeng hindi. Tama ba, Michelle? Is it correct? Is it being applied? Yes, sir. Yeah. Mm. It is being applied and each line should be adhered. If not, that's mm. another call out. <laughs> mm. Actually, in all warehouse, this 6S should be applied, but it depends. Okay. Um, we'll tackle that later while. Paddy, can you read definition of material handling for me, the one at the bottom of this page? Uh, the material handling. The one at the bottom? Yes, the definition of materials handling. The material handling division of the American Society of Mechanical Engineering has up the following definition. Material handling is the act and science involving the moving, packaging, and storing of substance in any form. Movement and storing of material at the lowest possible cost through the use of proper methods and equipments. <coughs> okay, so that is for the materials handling. Um, let's move for the next. 
next slide. Objective of material handling. Can you read this for me again, Patty? Manual material. Manual material handling ranges from movement of raw material, work in progress, finished goods, rejected scraps, packing material, etc. These materials are all different shape and sizes as well as weight. Material handling is a systematic and scientific method of moving, packing, and storing of materials in appropriate and suitable location. The main objectives of material handling are as follows. Okay, how do you how do your company handle scraps? Rusty, what no. scraps ninyo? Uh, so, so, say it again, sir. Ano pa? How do your company handle scraps? But you 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 I think scraps would uh, be still recyclable. But yung mga recyclable, yung mga material sa pwedeng i-recycle, yung scrap materials, may mga ganun mm -hmm. ba kayo sa company niyo? Where do you yes, put po, it? Yes, yes, po, sir, definitely. Uh, of course, especially in the construction. We, uh, in the construction, there is a big revenue of the scrap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> like, yes, yes, sir. Uh, we, even though... Uh, is are the steel? Because I used to have like a... Oh, uh, other than steel, because I had, I used to have like a student, uh, they're in the steel industry, uh, and they're the scrap. They told, uh, she told me that it's being reused. Uh, yes, yes, sir, it's, be, it's that, being steel. Re reused. Because uh, what is the scrap company doing here, sir? Like when we are selling a scrap, right? Uh, selling it to the Pakistani vendors. Oh. Uh, the Pakistani vendors, what they will do is they will uh, they will put in their warehouse and then sending it to once it's used or mountain of scrap, they are sending it to India to reuse it to this, to, to 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 remake it again sir, as a steel. Mm, yes. So, parang ganon yung ginagawa nila in in our company in my almost two years I already sold. One point around one point five million dirhams of scrap. Of scrap. Yes. yes. So even the waste carton, uh, uh, waste pallet, we are recycling them and then making a money also, making us a revenue. Because mm -hmm. there are different different scraps. So there's a steel, there's a electrical wires, there is a. Uh, Yan, yung mga steel, tapos mga waste carton, lahat. Yes. Parang you still found, um, kasi, uh, you still find um, use for them. Mm, yes, sir. What about um, um, in your company, Paddy, scraps? How do you handle your scraps? Uh, we have the different section. They, we, they know, we normally collect them at the end of the week. Some they protect them. I think they sell them more. What are these scraps from um, Alain Waters? What kind of scraps do you produce? Scrap, there are very many. These are broken pallets. Yes, yeah, broken pallets, pallets, yes. yes. Pallets are being re, um, reused and recycled. Upcycle sometimes. Yes, what else? They are broken what about pallets. The bottle? Yeah. What about the plastic bottle, buddy? Oh, yes. No, we don't. Bottles. No, you don't have those we don't collect kind of scraps. Okay. Oh, the carton. Are you, you guys, I think, yeah, uh, yeah. recycling the carton. Yes, the boxes. Yes. Yeah. And then they're also, they are also scrapping the water, maybe. <laughs> do, you, do you have a scrapper of water? Uh, no, no. Yes. Mostly those um, pallets. Michelle, may scraps yeah, ba kayo sa ano? What about in, um, in Amazon? Scraps. Actually, ko alam ka. Pero may naman na po produce. May mga yeah. nakikita ka na po produce na scraps. Inside, no. I don't see anything. Uh, definitely, meron yan mga yan. Sir. So, si Mitch siguro hindi lang siya masyadong exposed sa department dun sa, nila. Ano, yes. uh, uh, sa department nila. Kasi meron, meron talaga kasing uh, assigned people para dun eh. Tulad ko, ako yung naka-assigned people na mag-ano ng scrap. So, kaya... 
ah, you were assigned, sa'yo pala. Mm-mm. May tubo ka ba doon, Rusty? May, may cut ka pa ba uh, sa'yo? <laughs> <laughs> may sun, may sun, binibigyan ka ng pendol, okay, kami na lang ang kunin mo. Yes. <laughs> binibigyan ka na ng 1,000. Oh. <laughs> may kita pa rin pala. <laughs> Just being honest. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Um, just just uh, to make the deal. All right, Correct. so that's for scraps. Here are the main objectives of material handling as follows. Number one is to improve quality. Facilitate the reduction in material damage is to improve quality. It has been said, damage. We, um, we want to avoid uh, to get the product to be damaged improve quality increase the storage capacity by the way let me ask michelle sa sa yung mga hindi na pipik na materials diyan sa amazon how long is your uh expiration i mean yung duration kunyari hindi yung items that were not picked 30 days uh 3 months may ganun pa yung actually not 30 days sir We will try to deliver four times. After four times, we'll give it back to FC. Uh, so the the responsibility will be from the uh, the sender. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because I'm I'm seeing this Facebook, uh, I mean, in YouTube shows those items uh, from the mail. Alam yung mail yeah. post, di ba? Uh, and then they would sell it for two dollars, and then you could find good items uh, from those unclaimed posts. Do you see those um, from YouTube? Parang they, they will purchase it in bulk, to two dollars, two or five dollars, um, for one item that is uh, not picked. Anyway. Uh, I think we don't have it here. Baka it's a crime. It depends still in the country. But it's in the US kasi. Increase the store capacity. Space is money. Apparently, in the context of um, supply chain and logistics, space is money. Uh, we make sure that the space, that we have enough space for our businesses to, you know, to flourish. The material handling system should be such that it results in optimum utilization of space of warehouse. Optimum utilization of space of warehouse. The focus should be on utilizing the uh, cubic space rather than floor space. Uh, Thus, the space of warehouse should be utilized properly and avoid blockage of space. Remember when you showed me yung sakin na Michelle na merong parang, uh, there's still a leverage where you can uh, store things also because what is being measured is the cubic space even the height could also be like a storage hindi lang yung floor space um even it's the height so could be um uh, i mean because the there are some items that have uh like a tall height I was recently invited in one of the hotels here in Abu Dhabi. They turned one of their storage room into a business meeting area. So you would see that it was a storage room kasi high ceiling siya. It was empty. If you could literally see that it was uh, like a big space and it was um, uh, a storage room because It looks like a storage room. <laughs> so I told them, I think you might want to invest into um, decors or interior because um, it, still look, uh, it, it still looks like a, a storage room. Probably they can just put some chandelier because if you would see in the events hall, probably they could like put like decors on the ceiling. But that could be additional cost. So they invited me. They told me that maybe we can uh, create an event here. So I said, okay, let's do it. I actually have a meeting. Mm. Actually, actually, sa, 
uh, in the managing warehouse. Yeah, please. Uh, actually, the best form of how to utilize uh, warehouse space is to use the vertical position. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is that is the best form. I mean, parang kailangan mo kasing magamit yung height ng ceiling. Kasi kapag pa-horizontal lagi yung ano mo, if you're using always the, the floor uh, space, like, yes. Uh, horizontal floor ceiling, that can, kung baga mapupuno siya kagad, it will... Pero kung yes, magamit it will use up height, the space. That's true. I agree. Yes. Yes. That is the best form of uh, how to use wellhouse. I think that's the same case. Uh, Michelle right now is in a in is in a warehouse. Also, you uh, you're also in a warehouse, so you would have like tall ceiling. Di ba matatasing ceiling yun? What do you call that again, Michelle? Yung parang ano? Yung parang loft? Is that what you call it as well? Loft? Para mga ma mesa. Para may uh, mga para mesa din sila. Uh -uh. Okay, so that will be um, the second point, to increase the storage capacity. The third point, redu <coughs> reduction of number of times product is handled. Totoo you know, we have to reduce. Imagine if you keep on handling the material. It has a potential. It has a high potential of being damaged. So we try to reduce the handling. The material mm -hmm. handling system should be, uh, should be such that ma number of times the product is to be handled gets reduced to minimum to more than will the risk of damage to product and will increase the material handling cost. Correct, sir. Um, uh, yeah, please. In addition... Yeah, in addition, actually, the the main objective of material handling is to reduce the material handling. That is the main objective. Yes. The number of times that we actually are transporting it, um, the especially for food, diba? Yung If we deliver, like, your products from, imagine, um, uh, food, yung mga vegetables, Diba nakalagay yan sa mga boxes, yung fruits? Sa boxes, yes, yung mga styrofoam. Yes. Imagine if it's they, they are being transported yes. to uh, multiple places. Nalalamog. Yes. I think that's the same concept. <laughs> so they, must, they, they must be in the right condition, sir. Uh, in the right place. Uh, in the right time. Correct. In the right position. In the right sequence. I agree. So, parang um, naka ano siya. Uh, I, I, it, it comes to my mind again um, because I have um, a student that works for um, SEHA. They do the, the vaccination. Nakailang vaccine na kayo? If you're uh -huh. with Pfizer, I think you just have uh, to get two, di ba? But mine yes, is... Uh, mine is Sinopharm. So, four. Nakapor ka. So, pareho tayo. Tatlo pa lang. Yes. So mine is just three. I need to get the fourth dose July. The fourth so, dose, yes. Three dose. Two, si two Sinopharm. <laughs> yes. Sinopharm. And two Pfizer. <laughs> True. A, a friend of mine, she is traveling to the UK. Buti Pfizer daw yung... Pfizer lang daw yung tinatanggap na vaccine doon. So... So if, I, if I get to travel pala, hindi pala ako tatanggap kasi wala akong Pfizer na, na vaccine. Anyway, what I'm saying here is that before uh, they would be uh, injecting uh, like vaccines uh, with the capacity of 2,000 to 3,000 people in a day. Now, there are le less, um, less cases they are very i think this is a good um you know a good uh, scenario right now yes that there are no there is very less uh, vaccine hi how many people one second sure one moment 
Do you have your laptop with you? 